onions. People have been eating onions for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians actually considered onions an object of worship, and pharaohs were typically buried with onions by their side. But one thing people have not been enjoying for thousands of years is the tears that onions produce when you chop or prepare them. So today's mystery is looking at how do these onions produce all those tears and burning and itchiness in our eyes? Come on, let's go. Onions are in the allium family with a lot of other delicious foods like garlic and leeks, also chives. The difference is the foods I just mentioned don't annoy our eyes while onions cause severe irritation. But there is actually one lesser well-known cousin in the allium family that also causes eye irritation. And this is a plant named Sicilian honey garlic. Now, I don't know about you, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't cook with Sicilian honey garlic and I don't think I could even find it in my grocery store. So on a you know daily day-to-day -day basis, onions are really the only food I ever worry about causing my eyes to sort of burn and tear up. Now, we don't get all teary-eyed by just looking at an onion or peeling off that dry outer layer. You might have noticed that the tears begin when you start chopping into the onion. And this is really important because what you're doing by taking a knife to the onion is you are basically splitting open all the onion cells. And the thing to remember about a cell is that it's really an organized structure. So here's what a plant cell generally would look like. And it's not important that you know what every part is called, but what I want you to see is that each cell would have an organized structure like this. Like there are different pockets where certain things are stored and in another place, different chemicals would be stored. So everything has its own place in a cell and can be sort of kept in different compartments. It's very a very compartmentalized structure. But when you take a knife to an onion, you are ripping and tearing open this structure, which means you've just thrown about all the organization of the cell. And what happens with onions is by tearing open the cell, we actually bring two reactants that used to be separated together. And the first reactant is an enzyme called alanase. Now in an intact cell, alanase would always be found in the vacuole. And the second reactant is amino acid sulfoxides. And these would typically be floating around the cytoplasm. So these would never come in contact until you start breaking up or chopping the onion. And when alanase, this enzyme, gets a hold of an amino acid sulfoxide, a reaction occurs and sulfenic acid is produced. And this chemical reaction, this reaction is the first step in uh, multiple reactions that lead to tears in our eyes. All right, so we've just produced sulfenic acid. Then another reaction happens, and this involves a second enzyme named lacrimatory factor synthase. This second enzyme, it takes that sulfenic acid and produces a compound called synpropanethiol S oxide, and I know that's a mouthful, but the thing you need to remember about synpropanethiol S oxide is that it easily vaporizes into the air around us. So once this compound is present in the onion, it actually leaves the onion and prefers to be in the air surrounding us. So it turns into a vapor, which means this vapor can sort of float around in the air and get close to our eye. And once that synpropanethiol S oxide is near our cornea, the front of our eye, it reacts with water in our eye to produce sulfuric acid. And if you know anything about acids, sulfuric acid is a very strong acid. You do not want that anywhere near your body. So this is bad news. So now we have a sulfuric acid in our eye. And really it's the presence of the sulfuric acid that makes your eye feel all like it's burning, like it's itchy and it's what produces all the tears because 
the preneceptors in your eye, once that sulfuric acid is there, is telling your brain, we have a big problem. We have a chemical irritant in our eye. And the brain responds by producing all the tears, a lot of tears to try and dilute that acid and in hopes of also getting it out of your eye, right? And so it's really the presence of sulfuric acid that causes all these reactions in your eye to sort of produce these tears and have severe eye irritation. Now you might be wondering, why do onions have this weird pathway where they can make humans cry? But it's actually a way of self-defense, right? It's the onion defending itself from a predator. And if onions can make our eyes sort of itchy and burning, have this really severe eye irritation, it probably does the same thing in other predators that are trying to eat onions. So it's actually this chemical pathway that helps protect the onion plant so that it can you sort of reproduce and make more onions. And a lot of plants have defense mechanisms. The ones you're probably most familiar with are sort of like physical mechanisms like thorns or spines or prickers on plants. So really that is similar to how the onion makes us cry. It's just the plant trying to protect itself. There is some good news in that plant breeders have been working on a tear-free onion for over 30 years. So for three decades, scientists have been trying to crossbreed onions so that they have less and less of those sulfur compounds that are responsible for tears. And right now there is one onion that's supposed to be tear-free. It's called the Sunion. But so far, it's really only available on the west coast of the U.S. Um, people have seen it in Nevada and Washington, so it's not yet in a lot of our grocery stores, but a tear-free onion seems to be in the very near future. While we are waiting for the tear-free onions to make it into our local grocery store, I have a couple of other methods you can try to prevent the onions from making your eyes all watery. The first is try putting your onions in the freezer for about a half hour before you cut them. And this is just because reactions take place at a slower rate at lower temperatures. So just try to cool down that onion. Another idea is if it's a nice breezy day outside, go cut your onions outside on the porch because that wind will just take those vapors away naturally. And three, Cut your onions under flowing water so that the water sort of prevents those vapors from rising up into your eyes. Although I've never done this one and it sounds a little bit dangerous, so maybe be careful. And four, I actually was reading on the internet that some people are putting a piece of bread in their mouth while cutting an onion and saying that the bread sort of absorbs the vapors before they get to your eye. And I thought I would just include that because carbohydrates are delicious and I really love bread. But that one, I'm not sure if it works. I haven't tried it yet. Who would have guessed the humble onion is capable of producing a dangerous chemical, sulfuric acid, inside our eyes. Although that does really explain all the burning, itchiness, and tears. Which means, I guess, the mystery of how onions produce tears is closed. I'll talk to you next time.